when dividing numbers we have to look at take a look at this formula y to the power of any number r over y to the power of any number s is equal to y to the power of any number r minus s so let's say we have y to the power of 3 over y so one thing we have to keep in mind is that every variable that doesn't show a number always has a 1 up here because that variable to the power of 1 would just equal that variable so that's that's why we don't show it but but it has a 1 up here so we have y to the power of 3 minus minus 1 which is equal to y squared now another example is y to the power of one half over y to the power of three this is equal to y to the power of one half minus three which is equal to y to the power of negative five over two or you could also rewrite re re it as one over y to the power of five over two but both answers are correct now let's say we have this 2y to the power of negative 3 over 5 times 2x to the power of 1 half over 3y times x squared. Well, the first thing we could do is multiply these two, these two twos and set them aside. As, along with uh, with that 3 so we can write 4 over 3 then we're gonna subtract both of these exponents so we're gonna we have y to the part of negative 3 over 5 minus 1 times x to the part of 1 half minus 2 x to the power of 1 half minus 2 which is equal to 4 over 3 y to the power of negative 8 over 5 times x to the power of negative 3 halves and that's the answer however you could also rewrite this answer as as 4 over 3y to a power of negative 8 over 5 times x to a power of 3 over 2. Uh, this, this is a positive number, not a negative. So it would just be 4 over 3y to a power of 8 over 5 times x to a power of 3 over 2. And that could also be our answer.